Hello friends, in this video we will try to solve one question that is present a critical account of the population theory propounded by Malthus. First we will see introduction, then his theories and after that we will see criticism of his theory. The British economist and demographer Thomas Robert Malthus was the first person who propounded a systematic population theory based on scientific and natural law. His book on the principles of population growth was published in 1798. Malthus traveled various West European countries and collected many important data in support of his population theory. Thus, Malthus' theory was based on his experience and observations. His motive was definitely humanitarian as he was always thinking and trying about the welfare of humanity. It was introduction. Now we will see his theory. Malthus' general view was that population tended to increase faster than the means of subsistence. Population increase at a geometric rate, for example 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 like that, while subsistence increased at an arithmetic rate like 1, 2, 3, 4. Malthus concluded that the population doubles after every 25 years. Through this theory, Malthus tried to highlight the differences between the power of population to increase and the power in the earth to produce subsistence for people. Malthus believed that the table of nature is laid for limited number of guests and those who came uninvited must starve. Malthus believed that the passion between sexes led people to marry at a relatively early age and would result in such a large number of birth that the population increased sharply and doubles itself in few years, if not checked by misery and vice. The increasing gap between population and subsistence will definitely increase the human tendency to place upon the means of subsistence. Consequently, the society gets divided into two classes of people, one rich and other poor, which give rise to capitalist setup. Rich people are the owners of the means of production, earn profit and accumulate capital. Rich people with the increased income enhance their consumption, but do not like to increase their population as they are feared of decline in their standard of living. On the other hand, the poor and the labor class are engaged to increase their population as their source of income depends only on manpower. In such a way, the rich will continue to grow richer and the poor to grow poorer. According to Malthus, fast-growing population can be checked or prevented by two ways, positive checks and preventive checks. Positive checks are included wars, flood, earthquake, disease, hunger, poverty and particularly lack of food. His preventive checks included mainly moral control like the postponement of marriages, self-control and vice in which he included birth control and abortion. As being a priest of church and a religious teacher, Malthus was not in favor of artificial contraceptive method to prevent faster growing population. He gave greater importance to positive checks rather than preventive checks. After that we can use this diagram. This diagram will be helpful to understand his theory. Now we will see criticism of Malthus theory. The first criticism is that Malthus basic assumptions on passion between sexes has been criticized on the plea that desire to have children cannot be mixed up with passion and desire for sex because desire for sex is a biological tendency whereas the desire to have children is a social tendency. Second criticism is that the time span of 25 years assumed by Malthus as the doubling period for a population is far away from reality because this varies very much from country to country depending upon the stage of its economic and demographic advancement. 
The third criticism is that the application of geometrical growth rate for population and arithmetic growth rate for means of subsistence is also challenged. Actually, population has rarely grown in geometrical progression and means of subsistence have rarely multiplied in arithmetic progression. Fourth, according to Malthus, positive checks better than preventive checks. He could not suggest of the use of contraceptives as the preventive checks, which later become most popular and successful in controlling the population. Fifth, Malthus is also criticized for ignoring the role of changing technology and consequent improvement in the level of subsistence. He ignored the potential of industrial and technological revolution. So these are the criticism of his theory. In spite of all these criticism, Malthus' theory of population growth has been successful to highlight the urgent need of maintaining a balanced relationship between population and means of subsistence. Above all, Malthus' principle of population initiated theory building and is agreed in the form of Neo-Malthusianism and thus his ideas and work are of great value. I hope this video will be helpful. Thank you. Thank you so much.